Allison here and today I am going to talk with you about Dolce Garden, my latest perfume purchase. I already did a haul video featuring this perfume so now I'm starting the videos where I talk about each perfume individually. So I'm starting first with Dolce Garden because I've already tested it out and I know how I feel about it. So if you want to see that, stay tuned. So to start things off, I'll go ahead and talk about the packaging and get that out of the way. This is the box it comes in. It's a mauve pink color. Then it comes with this black bow tie ribbon. Very simple, which also makes it very chic. So the bottle I have is the one ounce bottle and this is what it looks like. So this bottle is very cute. I love it. It reminds me a bit of the Daisy perfume packaging by Marc Jacobs, but to me this is chicer and cuter and simpler. Let me show you what it looks like up close. I like the little bow tie that comes with it. It matches the bow tie on the box. And I like the simple cap that is a pink flower. It looks like a rose to me in particular. So I first smelled it this summer. I made a previous video where I had gone to the store, particularly Ulta, and tested perfumes, sprayed them on different parts of my body, then came home to give myself time to see how they would react to my skin and smell them and see how I felt about them, you know, as time went on. The Dolce Garden in that video, it was the perfume. I didn't, it was like the in-between perfume as far as my response. I didn't respond to it as if I had to have it, but I didn't hate it. My main issue with Dolce Garden at that time was even though it was released in the summer and marketed as a summer perfume, it had some very fall-like vibes for me. I just felt like I needed to wait until fall before I considered actually purchasing this perfume. I recently came into the position where I was able to purchase some perfumes, some designer perfumes. And I thought, well, what am I gonna get? Am I gonna finally get all of these other perfumes that I've been obsessed with? But now I've gotten to the place where a lot of those perfumes I'm tired of because I smell them everywhere. They're very popular and they have been duped and imitated exceedingly to where they no longer feel unique for me, particularly Armani C. I love the smell of Armani C, but it has been very much duped and imitated and almost run through the ground. I love the smell of La Via Belle, but again, it's been highly imitated, highly duped, and highly worn by many people. I did end up getting La Via Belle Le Clat, but I'll talk about that in another video. I decided to get Dolce Garden partly because I live in Alabama. Right now it's fall, but fall in Alabama can be a bit tricky at the beginning. You have some parts of the day that can feel really cold, and then you'll have another part of the day that actually feels warm. So you may wake up to 50 degree weather, but then by noon it's 70 degrees. So I didn't want a perfume that was blatantly made for fall, or I didn't want that to be the only perfume I purchased. I wanted something that works in cold weather, but also works in warm weather. So throughout the day, as the temperatures change, I'm not annoyed by a scent. I love that first in the morning. This is perfect for that for me. This perfume has a very warming vibe um, because of probably the sandalwood, but it also has a very tropical summery vibe, uh, probably because of the coconut that's in this. So now let's talk about the fragrance composition or the fragrance pyramid or the notes of this perfume. The top notes are Neroli, Magnolia, Mandarin, and Orange. The middle notes are Frangipani, Coconut, and Ylang Ylang. And the base notes are Almond Milk, Vanilla Absolute, and Sandalwood. I feel like what I smell the most is the coconut, the Frangipani, and the vanilla. It has a sweet smell and it has a creamy smell. And I definitely smell the warmth that comes from the vanilla. So I smell those notes the most, in my opinion. 
but I think I also smell the almond milk. I feel like the almond milk contributes to that creamy smell. And I also smell the sandalwood as far as what's contributing to that warm smell. It's just, it's a very warm fragrance to me. And it's weird because again, like it's a summer perfume. And most of the time, I don't think people want their summer perfumes to smell warm. Cause if you're already hot, you're wanting something that cools you down. And what we smell can be very psychological. It can have a very psychological effect on us. So if we smell something that makes us think makes us think of warmth, we almost start to feel warmer and it can be too much if it's already <laughs> warm outside. But it has that warm smell, but the coconut in it and some of the other tropical vibes can also create a summery feeling that cools you down a bit. So this perfume honestly can be a little confusing. Well, one reason that people could hate this perfume or not like this perfume is because of the name. It's called Dolce Garden. And when you look at the bottle, it has a rose cap, it's pink. You might assume, oh, so this is gonna be a very floral perfume. It's not really that. It has some flower notes to it, it has some floral notes, but it's not as floral as something like Gucci Bloom, um, Vintage Bloom by Jessica Simpson, um, Blooming Bouquet, the Blooming Bouquet version of Miss Dior by Christian Dior. Those, when you smell them, you're like flowers. This one, you don't, you don't really think, oh, flowers when you smell this. You don't think of a garden. If you keep smelling this and trying to see the connotation between the name you think well maybe tropical garden but the name doesn't really fit the perfume and i think for that reason this perfume will turn some people off because they'll look at the name they'll make assumptions and then they'll be disappointed i think another reason some people may not like this perfume is because of the sillage when i first wear this the sillage is decent it's not a big impact with the sillage but, but as time passes it the sillage decreases and it becomes very much a skin scent. I honestly can smell it throughout the day, but I have to work to smell it. Like I have to sniff my wrist and be like, okay, yeah, I still smell it. Which honestly says a lot because I have experienced some scents where you spray it on your skin, a few hours pass and you smell your wrist and you don't smell a thing. You like, I guess I just smell skin cells because you don't smell anything else. There is no remnant of that perfume that you sprayed on you. So I am impressed by the fact that you can still smell it throughout the day. But for some people, the fact that it's a skin sit after a few hours can be disappointing. It's just only if you really like for your perfumes to make a big impact, leave a trail, overtake the room. This may do that when you first spray it, but not really. This is more of a, if someone's close to you in the morning. So if someone's sitting by you, they will smell it for sure. But after a while, this becomes a scent that people will only smell if they hug you, unless you spray it on your clothes. I did spray it on my shirt. It definitely stayed on my shirt and it definitely had a bit more sillage from my shirt. But where I sprayed it on my skin, the sillage was not that big. You can only smell it if you were close to my skin, if you actively worked to smell my skin. <laughs> the only other thing to have to mention about this perfume is something I mentioned on my blog. This perfume is the perfect answer to pink sugar for me. I purchased pink sugar and I love the way pink sugar smells, but the one day I wore it, I was like, no, I gotta wait till it gets like cold, cold. I'm not quite ready for this scent because the weather is not quite ready for this scent. Even though pink sugar has a cotton candy smell that makes you think of summer, it definitely has some thick heaviness to it that when it's hot, pink sugar can be too much and so I was still wanting that sweet feminine smell but not the thickness that I was getting from pink sugar so Dolce Garden to me is perfect for me because it's perfect for what I want right now it's perfect for me wanting something that works for cold and warm weather and it's perfect for the fact that it's a skin scent right now I'm loving skin scents and I also love the fact that is sweet and feminine but not too thick and overpowering so if you've purchased this perfume let me know your thoughts if you have tested this perfume out at the department store counter or at somewhere like ulta go ahead and tell me what you thought about it i know from reading reviews online that this perfume has been hit or miss some people love it some people hate it i'm just curious 
which group you're in. Are you one of the lovers? Are you one of the haters? Or maybe you're one of those people who's ambivalent to this perfume. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching.